for that stupid face. Only mother could love. <laughs> Hello everyone, we're back with uh, playing Duck Detective, The Secret Salami. The fuck's wrong with my voice? <sighs> Alright, we're back uh, playing Duck Detective, The Secret Salami. Uh, we're gonna try to uh, complete it this time. Because we are the best duck detectives. All right, so we already did that one. I think uh, we'll find some over here. This grumpy Gus over here. Let's talk to him. So, what happens to the cake now? Oh, you want to eat it? Hmm. Do you know anything about this bag? Why are you going around pushing bags into people's faces? Ugh, what's that awful smell? It's, uh, dirty gym clothes. What do you think about this letter? People don't know how to write letters by hand anymore. Yeah, I can give him credit for that one. I don't know when's the last time I wrote a letter by hand. What is your relationship with Margaret Whitlock? Oh, a little personal here. Oh, sweetheart. We have Knew our it. weekly mahjong evenings. Look at that stupid face. Only mother could love. <laughs> Alright, let's go check with this alligator dude. What's this? It's a list of all the bus drivers. The most busy driver out of all four seems to be Petrovich. That's a little strange. Alright, let's check this guy. They, they really think I've done it! Oh yeah, dude. Yeah, that salami bag right there. They really just don't Duck like detective, you. You have to help me! You, you, you know it wasn't me, right? Did you not think it was strange that your bag was full of salami? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know. I thought someone gave me a salami surprise. Who eats salami? Like, really? I'll eat salami sandwiches for breakfast, lunch, and dinner from now on. Is this your bag? Huh? No, mine's over there. The one with all the salami? <laughs> yeah. Why do you need so much salami? That's a little mine. strange. It was just there. A really nice surprise. Hmm. Do you get along with Boris Petrovich? He's a chill guy. I take the bus sometimes to go to bouldering conventions, and then we get to chat. So, there's a few people we can uh, see might be it. Let's look at our list here. So, Rufus and Laura don't like Freddy. I really, this guy had a secret compartment. It's it's probably Laura setting him up. She called the detective so she could get proof to get him fired by him. So she doesn't have to deal with him messing up her schedule. That's what I think it is. Let's see here. Yeah, so I'll check out. Yeah, I gave Nicholas. Link got stolen. Nothing. See plushies. Oh wait, it's all wrong. There's three of these wrong. See, Freddy gave a plushie. Uh, Laura gave a plushie. Okay, so Freddy did give the plushie. Man, Fred, but Boris, but Laura. I think Laura gave the necklace. Hey, what? What the freak, man? Ah, uh, so uh, let's say Rufus gave the book. 
Sophie received presents from her colleagues. Who gave what? The two desks, son. There's notes over here. This folder says manual for CS agents. How and when to create vouchers correctly? I'm falling asleep just reading the title. Hmm. Complaints. Can you reclaim their desk? I can smell it. I'm over here. This one right there. What a dumb pen name. Haha, <laughs> it's just his name backwards. Mystery author. Um, G Law, is he serious? Sophie. Friends. I think Sophie and Laura are working together. You definitely don't want to be Laura's enemy. Hmm. It's a little strange. Has to be alien though. Armored. Haired. Purple eyed alien. I cracked it. Let's see what secret she has on her computer. Arts. Lovers. Delete everything. Illegal activity. What today? And secret cake recipes. Never gonna give you up. <laughs> Remember when that used to be a big old meme? Vacation. <clears throat> Plan trip. Huh. Who is this person she's messaging? Sophie received the following presents. Her plushie did not get stolen. But her bag. Uh, yeah, I think it's her cake, no. Nothing got stolen. Oh, man. Let me check back in here. It's no ducks are named after Sir Jeffrey Duck. No, I didn't. Do you think she liked my present? I mean, now she's crying, but I think I saw a sparkle in her eyes when she opened mine. Uh. I should really get back to work. So. It's a heart-shaped necklace. <laughs> looks tacky. Looks tacky. Someone gifted Sophie a plushie. It says limited edition. Huh. So I think Laura gave her the plushie. Espy Laura. Yeah, it's right. So two of these are wrong. And it's this one right here. Boris gave that. There we go. There we freaking go, so, man. Nothing got stolen after all. It seemed that the salami present was intentional. Hmm. Uh, let's try going here. Let's show him all this stuff. Do you know anything about this? Well, it's obviously a cheap prank by Frederson. Only he would find this funny. Eh, probably. What can you tell me about Boris Petrovich? He's, uh, not the most reliable worker. Are you sure about that? He's he's been the most active bus driver. Uh, but it's difficult finding replacements nowadays. What is Rufus Sedaris like? Yeah, that that jerk. Uh, not the greatest janitor. I guessed but it. He came with the building. 
So he's just spawned into the building and never left. What do you know about Laura Angst? Oh, she's a fantastic employee. Hmm. She basically does the work of five people. That really sets it up for her being so stressed she would, uh... Use her position to... Really frame people, you know? I'm guessing you're ready to present legal evidence of Frederson's misconducts. It wasn't Frederson. Legally added to clues. Everything is pointing towards him. I will present the true culprit soon enough. Well, I don't really care how long it takes you. This will be Frederson's last day. Hmm. SP sells Chris right there. Uh crud man. Might find more clues out here. Hopefully. Nope, oh, sorry about that. Hmm. Right here. Personal items worth less than five hundred smart. Allowed goods. Customs procedures for passengers entering from the west border. Customs import. Uh, west border, yeah. Personal items. Notify the local police about suspicious activity. Prohibited goods. Weapons. Trombones. Meat. Potatoes. Books not in the interest of the eastern states. Weapons, gun, scary. Right here, place, Brazil. Hmm. He checked at the bus station in Brazil. What do they have against potatoes? Probably a lot, you know. They make potato guns with them. Illegally imported from Salski. Man. That explains all the high-grade salami. Uh huh. I just needed to find out who was behind this. Hmm. It's making me a little mad right here. Nope, ain't working. Nice. That one scared. Ooh. <laughs> I just had to mess it up Sophie a few times. Receiving threats. Huh? She was receiving threats. Find out why. The mystery of the salami bandit was slowly getting unraveled. It's gotta be Boris then. Western goods are prohibited from entering and being sold in the East. This is why the salami bandit decided to make a business out of buying high-grade salami in the West. Smuggling it to the East. And selling it at a high profit. Also, Hands backwards. For some reason, Sophie received a letter from the salami bandit. That had a hidden threatening message. B E Q I T O R E L S E. This was serious. I had to question all of the employees. Thanks for coming, everyone. Yeah, thanks for coming. Well, everyone except for Sophie. Where is she? Slacking off, playing on her computer phone, like usual. What typical of the old guy to say that? She's having problems with her family. She was at her desk and said she needed a moment. <laughs> I will start then regardless. 
I have made my deductions and drawn some serious conclusions. I think it's Boris. Oh, finally! Is Freddy getting fired then? Who is the murderer? Wait, what? I... What? <laughs> no one died. I was about to say the same thing. No one died. I'm getting framed! I'm telling you! Yes, you are. What a load of baloney. Salami, you mean? He is right, actually. He is getting framed. What? Why would anyone bother? Ah, that is the question, isn't it? Why would anyone bother? Get to the point. It's through my observations that I uncovered. Come on, spill the beans. A conspiracy. Oh, come on. <gasps> this is ridiculous. Why are we still listening to a random duck that waddled into this office? I'm leaving. I'm a certified private investigator and... It's okay. Just tell us what you know. <sighs> Salami is being smuggled from Salsitia using your very own buses. Dun dun. Huh? Well, what's going on? I think Boris might be the culprit. Okay, this is going Wait too a second. Far. How did Boris afford that the bus with with his own wage, right? That's an expensive necklace. Is he getting bribed? I think Boris is getting bribed. I really have more important things to do. It's starting the to point towards Boris. Now that is really scandalous. Does that mean we're losing our jobs? Uh, maybe. <laughs> Who else wants to leave? Listen, everybody. It's really important that no one leaves the premises. <sighs> I need to get back to work. Oh, everybody's leaving? Not the premises, though. <sighs> I'm still here, Mr. Duck Detective. Yeah, you're still here. Yeah. Just great. So, if Boris got Sophie this necklace, how did he afford it? Like I was talking about earlier. He's probably getting bribed. This is getting intense, isn't it? Yeah, and you got a lot Maybe louder. You could need a little help? You seem lonely. I could be your assistant. What do you want me to do? Uh, decipher messages? Talk someone into telling us the truth? Follow people around? I'm pretty good at that. Just stay here. Yeah, just stay here, man. Like this? Yep, you're doing great. Great job. Uh, we turn down that volume a little bit. Turn you a little bit down, a little bit down, because you're making me deaf, dude. Go down a little bit right there. Man, that music is pretty loud. Wait, what? What did I just do? I didn't Are reset everything. No. I can be your ghostwriter. <laughs> yeah, right. I'll... Yeah, bad eyesight, dude. Something's not all right. Why would Laura recruit you to deal with a theft? Aren't there any other detectives who are actually qualified for the job? I've been doing very well so far. If I do say so myself, the truth will be... Huh? Yeah, screw you, Mr. Penguin. I eat his cakes all day. You barely do janitor work. But, like, look at this place, man. I totally did not knock over all them cans and stuff. Look at that, man. Social media account. Stalking. Huh. When the dam broke, Beaver, Michael lost his mind. He 
detective novels, murder, kidnapping, detective novel, kidnapping. Hmm. Someone is clearly obsessed with detectives. But it looks like he's being framed, so I don't know. She left? Just like this? Maybe she's at home. Should I look for her? So she left the premises. That's no good. S Sophie left! And she left a note on the desk. Hmm. Anymore, I'll tell them everything. Unknown news, don't. Fight. You block this number. Click here to unblock. No communication. Birthday card. High expectations. Reminder, it's my birthday. Hmm. I can't believe she complained about this online. Yeah, who would ever complain about some online? Let's go over here. That's it, I quit. You'll never see me again. Sophie. She quits. Huh? Never. Dramatic. Sophie. What a dramatic turn. Yeah, that sucks, man. I should keep this as evidence. Let's see if something's out here. Ooh, it's a uh, bear dude. Not really a detective's job to spin crazy conspiracy theory. Sometimes the truth is pretty crazy. Seems a bit cheap. Have you seen Sophie's resignation? <laughs> uh, no. I can't say it comes at a surprise. Yeah. She never particularly enjoyed <clears throat> her job. It's difficult finding replacements nowadays. So who's gonna work for you then, huh? I see one right there. It's a letter for an applicant signed by L. Angst. What a f it says. Huh. One, two, three, four. It's got to be four in there. Got uh, one and four and two. One, two, and four. Man. Yep. So it was right. It's the same thing for every playthrough. Heck yeah, oh, I totally did I it. I always wanted to open a ridiculously big safe. Let's see what secrets he has in here. Keys. Keychain. Server room. Oh, so I need to go through here. Keep quiet about the thing. Keep quiet. Fear of snitching. Do all these things and nothing will happen to you. Blackmail, enemy. Two letters, different handwriting. Dear Igrid, I know I haven't been there for you and the kids. He's looking up. Take you on a romantic getaway. Manfred. Awful lot of security for a branch manager of a bus company. Uh-huh. It's a lot of security, Great. man. This keychain. Here it is. You the finally got the, the server room. room. <laughs> finally, man. Alright, let's go. I finally solved the case by myself totally. 100% legit. Alright, let's go look at the server room. 
Ooh, get this one. Blank got framed. Dated. Blackmailed. Oh, yeah. Uh, Manfred got blackmailed because Salami wanted to snitch. Because Manfred wanted to snitch. Sophie. Uh, I, I'm really quite dumb here. Let's see what. Uh, what are you doing? Something. Uh, secret detect. Well, this place is pretty Electrical creepy. Electrical sparks and blinking lights created a claustrophobic atmosphere. I definitely felt that I wasn't supposed to be here. What's he keeping in all these boxes? I thought it was just a busing place, man. Why is all the boxes here? I don't think it's meant to do this. Two things are wrong here. I do know that Manfred got blackmailed. See, Sophus. <sighs> Boris. Sophie. Wait, what? Sophie got kidnapped. Sophie got kidnapped. Wait, what? What the hell happened? There must be more to this. <laughs> Tattered hat, poor. Tired. Anxious. Anything over here? What's the book you're reading? Huh? What's the last one? It's supposed to be three here. Ain't nothing there. Nothing there either. Uh, let's check this. Nope. Oh, right there. Breadcrumbs. Shame. Hmm. Really hates eating bread. Has that been there the whole day? Yep. Easy. Red Buzz Hunts Smart Voucher. Sale Listing Voucher. Look, you say selling history. Confused messaging. Literate. Lisa. Huh. Camera. Bus. CCTV. What's up with these? Airbus vouchers on Easy. So, Slum Bandit, Friend Freddy. No, no, no. Slum Bandit, kidnapped. Sophie, to make him her stick quiet about the. Let me bend it. Ooh. Manfred. Right there. Importing. Salamis. 
Batman Fred. Make me employee of the month, huh? Keep quiet about this. Hmm. That might have just solved the case there. I think it's lower. This letter would match up too. There we go. That was way more so difficult than it had Rufus to be. Margaret were doing with the vouchers. That was way more difficult than it had to be. That might be illegal, but this wasn't what I was here for. I needed to catch the salami bandit. I quickly needed to find out where Sophie was being kept. I also couldn't let the Salami Bandit get away with this. It was finally time to find out who was behind everything. Yeah, totally, man. It's that Rufus. It's office. Under. <laughs> Purpose office. Any box on. Under. In a bus. I thought oh I did that already. God, that's where she is being kept. It's important that I stayed calm now. I couldn't alert the culprit. Or all of this will have been for nothing. I needed to first figure out who is behind everything. So I could confront them. Hmm. I really think it's Laura. Strictly off limits. I even put up posters. This is for Im important detective work. Huh? Hmm. It must be men now. He probably did something wrong, obviously. Yeah. So whoever writ the Manfred letter, which is Manfred, wrote this and wrote this one too. So Manfred is the slummy bandit. Plus, the slummy bandit, his or her handwriting is are identical. Manfred is the salami bandit. A lot of sense. Ironic that his handwritten note meant to frame Fredersen ended up incriminating Manfred instead. Uh huh. How funny. Something was missing here. Who else was involved with this? I had collected everything I needed. I just had to organize my thoughts. Oh, come on. Blank is the slummy bandit. Well, I know it's Manfred. Oh, wait. 
accomplice. Carry out the... I'd, I'd say it's Boris. Importing. Salamis. Yeah, that makes sense, man. The salami bandit wasn't working alone. Uh huh. It made sense for the bus driver to be involved. Yeah, because he was checking the stuff. Man, stuff's starting to come together now. Let's see, Boris, Salami bandit's accomplished because he she used to date. Sophie. Convince Sophie into dating. Snitching. Boris. Accomplice. Sophie. Sophie Slum Bennett's accomplice because he used to date Boris. Someone to convince selling Airbus. Snitching, stalking Rufus. Two of these are wrong, these both are wrong right here. Could convince. Who are they convincing? Convince Oars to helping. There we go. I couldn't believe Sophie managed to talk Boris into this. Aha! I had it all figured out now. I knew it had to be Manfred and Boris, you know. It was time that I confront the culprits. But first, I had to free Sophie. <sighs> Man, stuff is wrapping up real quick. Is everyone yelling? This looks dramatic. Time to spill the beans. It's kind of a long story. Oh yeah, long story. And guess who deduced said long story? The one and only Duck Detective. Read the room. This is how everything went down. Here we go. The Britzel Beerbus branch was suffering losses and had their budget cut as a result. Manfred, worried about the financial stability of his family, felt himself backed into a corner. This is when he became the Salami Bandit. He made his grand plan of salami smuggling and realized he couldn't do this alone. He recruited Boris, since it would be easiest for the bus driver to load and unload the wares discreetly. The bus would go through a customs check at the Salsiccia bus station first. And then, Boris would take a detour to get the salami and load it onto the bus. This is why the buses always had a huge delay. Ooh, so that makes sense. It wouldn't be easy to talk Boris into crime. So Manfred convinced Sophie to join the team. Boris's obsession with her would make it easy for her to manipulate him into helping with their plan. Everything was going well until the Duck Detective, that's me, infiltrated the office. Heck yeah, man. Freddy was meant to be the scapegoat for the crime, but I'm not fooled that easily. Sophie began getting cold feet and ultimately wanted to confess to the police. 
Manfred couldn't have this, so he interfered. In an outburst Man. of panic, he abducted her and hid her in the luggage compartment of one of the buses. And this is why Manfred stole Laura's lunch. What? Everything is figured out, but who is truly guilty? Manfred, Sophie, and Boris are all involved in the uh -huh. smuggling. Who should get arrested for their crimes? I think Manfred. Manfred was the mastermind behind everything. Should Manfred get arrested? Yes. He did it all himself. He is the reason this all started in the first place. Of course he should be arrested. What about Sophie? Without her, the smuggling wouldn't have been possible. She manipulated poor Boris into taking the salami across the border. Should Sophie get arrested? Yes, because she manipulated him too. What she did was clearly illegal. She needs to face the consequences. Boris was at the end of the chain. Had he refused to take the salami on board, the plan would have not worked out. Should Boris get arrested? He was manipulated. He didn't even realize what was happening. I don't think this is a basis for arresting someone. All right, I've made up my mind. Let's go. I will report to the state police. Manfred! Sophie! And I do it again! Anything to secure my family's well-being. I'm not sure grand-scale salami smuggling was necessary for that. How else was I going to cope with all the budget cuts? If anyone actually worked in this office, we wouldn't have such terrible performance in the first place. I thought Laura did the work. Hey, I work. Yes, and then you keep asking for promotions. How am I going to give anyone a promotion if we have people baking cakes during working hours? <laughs> and while we're at it, Rufus! How dare you embezzle money from the company? He's been embezzling money? And then threaten me! <laughs> That's... Rufus said we're only doing that until his book takes off! Then I'll play the lead alien in the movie adaptation. Huh. Look who's going to jail now, Manfred. Not me, that's for sure. Rufus going to jail. I stand by what I said. I regret nothing. What is this? If I had known that calling the duck detective would result in this, I would have never done it. You were supposed to find out who stole my lunch. Not accuse my best friend of smuggling! <sighs> I knew this was a bad idea from the beginning! Why did Boris have to lose the bag? My god, he is such an idiot! I had no idea it was that important! Why didn't anyone tell me about the plan? Hmm. You said your cousin was ill. Huh, so he was. And the only thing that would make her happy was the salsiccia salamis. Oh, I should have known. If you're stupid enough to believe that, then you're also too stupid to bring a couple sausages across the border. Wow, you really did quack the case, Mr. Duck Detective. You're just as cool as I imagined. Wow. What a great joke, dude. Not now, Ferguson. The truth. The truth is an ugly mistress. But it is my duty to throw bread to the fine beak of Lady Justice.
Oh, I completely forgot to collect my payment from Laura. Everybody already went home. How am I going to pay for the bus? <sighs> Guess I'm walking home. Ahem. <clears throat> Need a ride? I just booked this one. It's been such a long day after all. No, thank you. Come on, it'll be fun! Plus, you must be tired after all the detective work. I really don't. Please? I... Yeah, fine. Great. Now I finally have time to tell you all about my ideas for your social media. Please don't. I could get you tons of publicity. No. And imagine, we can team up. Absolutely not. And I could be your sidekick! <laughs>